Hello all, I am Shubha. I am here to present my poster titled Chest X-ray Classification for Detecting COVID-19 Using Convolutional Neural Network. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is a strain of coronavirus. RT-PCR is a gold standard in the diagnosis of COVID-19, but the results of RT-PCR test may take several hours to be available and it has a high false negative rate and it is expensive as well. Detecting the disease from radiographs and radiology images is perhaps one of the fastest way to diagnose the patients. Some of the early studies showed specific abnormalities in the chest radiograms of patients infected with COVID-19 such as uh, ground glass opacities and consolidations. While radiography in medical examination can be quickly performed, the interpretation of images by radiologists uh, is challenging due to the limitations in human capacity in detecting subtle visual features in the images uh, and lack of sufficient human resources. Look at these series of chest x-ray images. This shows varying amounts of infection in the lungs of a patient taken on different days. Hence our main objective was to couple medical image analysis with AI and to build a lightweight classifier deployable on portable devices. For training the classifier, we wanted a data repository with the largest number of publicly available COVID-19 images to the best of our knowledge. We also wanted to compare the performance of our model with other deep learning image models. The dataset used in the study was constructed from seven publicly available repositories. It has more than 10,000 images from more than 9,000 cases. 100 images in each class were used for evaluating the model. The rest of the data was split into training and validation sets. The data distribution in the different sets is given in this table here. Clearly, we can see a data imbalance here. This is the architecture of our proposed model consisting of six convolutional blocks with 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 and 512 filters in each. Batch normalization and max pooling layers were added after each convolution blocks Dropout layer was added after last three convolution layers and a dense block followed the convolutional blocks. Dropout layers were also added after the dense layers. Activation functions used were ReLU and Sigmoid and loss function was binary cross entropy. To handle data imbalance problem, class weights were assigned. The model was implemented using TensorFlow with Keras backend and the best performance was achieved by training the model for 10 epochs. It took less than 6 hours in Google Collaboratory with GPU. From the table here, it can be noted that the performance of the proposed model is almost similar to that of the deep learning model like VGG16 and other published studies. The confusion metrics shows the number of correctly classified samples uh, in both the classes by our model. The training cost of deep learning models is measure, measured use, using the number of parameters that needs to be trained to achieve the classification results. And most of the models we have compared here has more than 10 million parameters and were pre-trained using ImageNet database. It is difficult to deploy such models in a clinical setting. 
whereas the proposed model had roughly 2 million parameters which makes it portable to small devices. We have plans to extend our work to multi-class classification of the chest x-rays for classifying normal COVID-19 pneumonia and other bacterial pneumonia. We are also planning to do the segmentation of lung region and visualization of the results of the CNN <clears throat> using saliency maps or heat maps. The reference list is given here. That's all. Thank you.